Democracy. From the post millennial, Mark Zuckerberg identifies as libertarian, hires Republican strategist. Zuckerberg has reportedly hired a Republican strategist, Brian Baker, to help mend his relationship with the right. All right, Zuck, I got a, I got a plan for you. First of all, anybody watching this show who knows Zuck, send him this clip because here's my proposal. A lot of people, they say in Mark, we offer you no solace. We will not welcome you into the fold. They say you are a bad man. I reject this premise. I don't know a whole lot about the intentions of the world views of Mr. Zuckerberg. What I do know is, is that he is a deeply powerful individual who can uh, uh, move mountains. And for this, I say, good, sir, if you want to publicly identify as a libertarian, I welcome you to do so. Anything you do that benefits liberty side politics is a good thing. If his intentions are bad, at least he's convincing people to embrace and explore libertarian values. And I mean little, not big. L. The Libertarian Party is weird. That being said, you can start by removing the censorship from my Facebook accounts. Why is it that we constantly have problems on Instagram and Facebook? And I am called a milk toast fence sitter. Even right now, people are like, Tip, you're a milk toast fence. Oh, yeah, well, apparently I'm so milk toast. Facebook censors half the things we do. Mark, your platform is the second most censorious platform. Meta, meta platforms are, are minefields that people typically are worried about posting on. Right now, we're talking about elections, and your platform allows partisan third-party factions to come in and lie and derank and downrank our content. I'll tell you this. In 2020, I made a video, my original podcast at youtube.com slash Timcast, which was just a half an hour long, plus, you know, the extra, extra segments. I said, Something like, you know, Republicans send slate of electors uh, to D.C., something like that. And it immediately got flagged on Facebook by third parties as fake news. And I was like, what? There's n everything I said in this is completely factually true. And I'm using all these NewsGuard certified sources. And so I reach out to the company that claimed as a third party that I was pushing fake news. And I said, what in this is incorrect? And they said, the Republican electors that were sent aren't real electors. And I said, and? And they were like, well, you claim Republicans sent electors. I'm like, they did? And they're like, yeah, but they weren't real. And I was like, did I say they were real? And they're like, no. Did you watch the video where in the first 10 seconds, I literally say Republicans have sent a non-certified slate to D.C.? And they went, you, you did? And I was like, yeah, but did you actually watch the video? And they're like, we didn't actually. We just flagged it, removed it, and demonetized with third-party authority, despite the fact that you were right the whole time. Thanks, Mark. You are mismanaging this platform and you are causing damage. So I welcome you. Good, sir. But you got to fix these problems. If you're in charge and you can change the game, start doing it now. Otherwise, you ain't rehabilitating nothing. Additionally, come join us on the podcast and we'll have a conversation. In an effort to reshape his public image amid political controversies, Zuckerberg has reportedly hired a Republican strategist to help his relationship with the right. Much of the criticism towards Zuckerberg from the right stems from years of censoring and suppressing conservative content, including Facebook's decision to suspend Trump after January 6. Zuckerberg has reportedly hired Republican strategist Brian Baker, The New York Times reported, to help mend this, his relationship. Sources who spoke to Zuckerberg recently said the Meta CEO identifies in private more closely with libertarianism or classical liber uh, liberalism. If that were true, homie would not be censoring all of us. I am not a far right pro-life Wahhabi Catholic, a Shiite Wahhabi Catholic, as Michael Knowles calls Seamus Coughlin. But Seamus is a good friend, and we disagree, and we have conversations, and we share jokes, and we get along just fine. I am a disaffected liberal, post-liberal, fairly moderate individual, and even I face extreme censorship to the point where we don't dare post certain things on Facebook. So you want to claim to me that you're a classical liberal? Nice try, dude. Nice try. You, you got to walk the walk before you talk the talk. Following the attempt on Trump's life at Butler, Zuckerberg even praised Trump's reaction, saying it was badass. He also reportedly called Trump twice over the summer. Trump claimed that Zuckerberg told him there was no way I can vote for a Democrat. Wow. Trump claims Zuckerberg said, I can't vote for, uh, no way I can vote for a Democrat. Though meta reps have contradicted the statement, Zuckerberg has reportedly not forged a relationship with Kamala Harris. In 2020, they donated $400 million in fund, uh, to fund local elections, which is criticized. They call it Zuckerbucks. I'll tell you what I think, my friends. I think Mark Zuckerberg sees the writing on the wall. 
He knows that Donald Trump is going to win. And when Donald Trump wins, there is going to be a clenched fist coming towards Facebook with regulations and antitrust. Zuckerberg right now is sweating in his boots. I think there's a couple things that that I, that sort of break down what's going on with Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg appears before Congress. I, I'll show you this right here. Take a look at the picture that the Post Millennial use of, of old Zuck. Short hair, not too good of a haircut, kind of pale and pasty. All right. Let's pull up uh, Mark Zuckerberg today. And uh, let's see if we uh, like, you know, we got these old photos of him, but he has uh, he has begun to change. Let's see if we can pull up Mark Zuckerberg in the past month where. uh, Come on, Google only wants to show me the old weird ones. (laughs) Amazing what a beard can do for a man, is it not? I'm going to tell you right now, Mark, you got a little tan. You grew a little facial hair. You let your hair grow out a little bit. 10 out of 10 improvement. It's actually a really great photo of Mark Zuckerberg. I got to say, uh, appreciate and can respect Mark Zuckerberg trying to better himself. I really do mean it. I do mean it. And a lot of people are like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to bring this guy and give him an opportunity. Nah, you know what I think? You know what I think? And I hope Mark hears this too. I, I doubt that he actually will. I think that Mark saw himself. I think he saw these hearings. He saw these memes. They were calling him a robot. They were calling him weird. And he said, I don't want to be an other. Like, I want to be a person. I want to fit in with people. I want to be, I want to, like, everybody does. Everybody wants that social connection. I think he decided he's going to, he's going to better himself. Look at this picture of the guy. Come on. You can't tell me that wasn't an improvement. Big improvement. Good for him. Apparently, he started working out, exercising. He got a tan. He let his hair grow out. He really started improving himself. I think the dude actually started learning, and I respect it tremendously. The question is, do we trust him? Here's a guy who's got a private island where he's got his own custom Wagyu beef. I can't say that this guy is in touch with people. He's been heavily criticized for the spy that's gone on Facebook, how he's just worked with the government, the Zuckerbucks. This guy's got a track record that says bad things. But you know what? He's also a dude wielding a very big stick who is trying desperately to redeem himself in the eyes of the public. That's an opportunity. I long said this. Donald Trump may not be a good guy. I I, I think Trump is a good guy. I'm just saying this. I think Trump is a good dude. I think he has an ego. I think he wants to be loved and wants to be liked. But I also think he's aiming towards positive things, good things. I, I think he's certainly interested in himself. Don't get me wrong. But what really drives Trump's self is that he wants you to respect him. I, 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 I tell people this. Look. You meet Donald Trump. I was talking to a friend of mine and I'm like, he's going to he's going to praise you. He's going to lavish you with praise. He is charismatic. He's going to smile and he's going to compliment you. He is an excellent salesman. He knows how to make people like him. And that's what he really wants. Now, perhaps deep down, he's an evil man who's like, once everyone loves me, I can have everything. The world will be mine. And you're like, oh, no, he's evil. What's his plan? My first plan will be to help every American afford health care. Really? Yes. Then they'll all love me. It's like, OK. Donald Trump certainly isn't liked by everybody. My point is this. If Mark Zuckerberg is an evil guy who deep down is like, I will control the world. And his plan is like, I'm going to promote libertarian values and improve myself and tell others to do the same. (laughs) Ha ha ha. It's like, well, those are those are good things. I mean, if he's doing it because he knows that his his power wanes when he's out of touch with the people and looks more robotic. Sure. My point is, okay, don't trust him. But if he's going to help Donald Trump win, sure, whatever his motivations are behind the scene. I don't know that we can function as a as a country, as a society, off the idea that intentions dictate. Someone may have evil intentions and they do good things. Well, I can't read your mind, dude. OK, you, you ran into a burning building to save puppies, not because you love puppies, but because you want to be on TV. Well, OK, but you saved the puppies. That's what matters. Right. And there are people who genuinely believe if a guy runs into a burning building and carries out two babies and is like, please, television cameras. Look what I did in saving these babies. I am a great hero. We'd be like, yeah, you are. I mean, you you sound kind of like a dick, but, you know, we really do appreciate you saved the babies. If the motivation of the man to save the babies was that he wants to be loved and respected, are we mad? I don't care what your motivations are. You saved some babies. That's what I say about Mark Zuckerberg. He did a bunch of bad things. Believe he's evil. Have fun with it.
But if he turns around and is doing good things, trying to endear himself to the public, let's uh, encourage he do more of that. Imagine if Mark Zuckerberg's plan was, I want to be the wealthiest person in control of everything. Facebook will dominate. How do you get there, sir? I have to I have to support libertarian values and promote classical liberalism. We're like, OK, <laughs> like, well, those are good things. Good, I guess. And that's it. I see Zuckerberg as a guy who wants to run a business and Facebook is in trouble. Facebook ain't doing all that well. I mean, they are. Don't get me wrong. But what I mean is they're an aging platform. That's why they bought Instagram. That's why they bought WhatsApp. They know that Facebook won't, won't always be it. It's mostly boomers now. And as the boomers get older and less young people are using Facebook, you got a Facebook problem. So he needs to find a way to endear himself to the market. And the market ain't for the Zuckerbucks pro-Democrat garbage. And so it sounds like he's playing that game. But I'll stress this again, too, as I made an earlier point. I think that a large component of this is that he looked at himself in the memes and the mirrors. Who wants to be the pale, pasty, robotic guy who's like, uh, your Facebook is a, a platform? Nah, you want to be like, he's got a chain around his neck. The dude went to Hawaii, got a tan, grew some facial hair and was like, I just like to look like a normal person for once. I think he wants to fit in. Most people do. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll take what I can get. Let's see you walk the walk, Zuck. Come out, do some podcasts, talk about what's going on. I know he's done some. Uh, talk about the problems we saw before. But let's not, re let's not revel or wallow in what he did in the last election. Let's talk about how you're going to make it up to the rest of us. I'm not saying Zuckerberg should go out and dump money into supporting Donald Trump. In fact, I would be strongly against that. I say Facebook should stop censoring, should allow people to express their ideas. Maybe then you'll bring some users back. If Facebook stopped censoring, we would be posting there. We post our shows on Facebook and periodically we don't because we know if we say even a single word that is not even offensive, they'll nuke the show. So how about if you want more users on your platform, you, um, I don't know, compete in the marketplace. Let's see it, Zuck. I'd love to see it. And then uh, we can talk about how you're how you're doing these things that will make everything better. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 6 p.m. on this channel. My friends, smash that like button. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on X at TimCast. The next segment coming up, recession is coming. I hope you guys are ready. Thanks for hanging out, and we will see you all at 6 p.m.